Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really really well. So today what I wanted to do is just kind of sit back, relax, have a chat and talk through some of my favourite things that I've been loving at the moment. It's the start of a new month so I thought it'd be good to like look back on some of the things I've been loving. Ideally I would like to do this every month but I'm just gonna be honest that would mean that I'd have to be buying stuff all the time and yeah that's not gonna happen because I don't have the money for that. So yeah, let's start off with the first thing. First thing on my favourites list this month, past couple of months, whatever, um, is the PS My Perfect Colour Foundation, just from Primark. I did a video on Primark makeup, if you've seen it, you'll know that I was really, really blown away by this foundation. It is great coverage, perfect colour. I got this in the shade Ivory. Obviously, everyone's saying it was like a dupe for Estee Lauder, and I agree, it is up there with the best. I think that for a £5 foundation, this is just amazing. What more can you say? I think it's just amazing. I'm, I'm sure you've heard other good things about it. I'm sure you've seen videos on it. But yeah, I'm really, really loving it. It comes in a glass bottle, the exact same as the Estee Lauder. It is just a, like, pour-out top. So it doesn't have a pump. So it just pours out, which is fine. I mean, what do you expect for £5? And yeah, the coverage is great. Um, it lasts all day. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's matte, which is great for me because, you know, I love matte. You know, I'm a matte girl. So that's the first thing that I've been loving. The next thing in, like, beauty sort of related items is another Primark product, actually. And it's the PS Lip Liner in Peanut Butter. And there's not much left of it, to be honest. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's like a tiny little nub because I've used it that much. I mean, I think th this came in a set with, like, a lip gloss. I don't really use a lip gloss, but the lip liner is, yes. I have been using this all the time. It is like an exact match for Velvet Teddy, which if you didn't know, I lost a couple of weeks ago. So finding this has been a godsend. I mean, I said it's like down the nub, but you don't really get that much product in it, if I'm honest. But it was like three pound in a set. And I think what you do get is like just really, really good. It lasts all day. It's not that great, if I'm honest, with eating and drinking. Like, it does come off quite quickly. But, like I say, for £3, well, it's less than £3 because you've got two things in the set for £3. You can't really complain. And I wish they sold this by itself. I actually don't know if they do. I'm hoping they do because I would love to go get my hands on some more of these because, like I said, it goes down really quick and I've just been using it non-stop. Um, so, yeah, if, if you know if they sell these individually, please let me know because... I don't want to go to Primark for like a wasted journey because it's hectic in there and it's stressful and I can't be dealing with that. So if you do know if they sell this individually, let me know. The next thing that I've been loving is another beauty thing and it's actually a beauty blender. Now, I did say this in a video before, but a while back I did try beauty blenders and I couldn't get away with them. I had the Real Techniques, you know, the orange one, um, loved it, but I just couldn't get away with applying foundation with it. I don't know why, I just didn't like, I feel like it took forever to apply, like it took so much longer than I haven't used a brush. So I was just like, oh, this is like too time consuming. But then after buying these, and I did have another one of these and I've lost it and I'd love to know where it is because I can't find it anywhere and the Beauty Blender fairies have just kind of got their hands on it and stole it. So I need that back. But yeah, I've just been loving it and I actually did my makeup today with it. Um, I put my foundation on with it and it didn't take that long. Maybe it's just because over the years I've kind of gotten better at makeup, like, uh, yeah, I would say I've got better at it. So maybe it's like, I've gotten better, so my technique is better. How many times do you want to say better? Better. Um, but yeah, so I've been loving applying a foundation with a beauty blender. Although I do keep forgetting to, you know, dampen it. So like, I'll be sitting down, ready to do my makeup, and I'm like, damn, it's dry. Run to the bathroom, a bit of water, job's a good in. But you know, you don't have to run back and forth all the time. I think that's it for beauty. What have I got? So let's do skincare. So I've only got one thing for skincare. There's not a lot of stuff here, if I'm honest, because I want to keep it like short and sweet because I find myself annoying when I watch these back. So God knows what you think. But um, move on to skincare. So the first skincare product, well, the only skincare product, I think, is this L'Oreal Paris Pure Clear Blemish Rescue Mask. And it just comes in this glass jar. And it looks like this. And it is very blue, which I love. And I saw these in... Superdrug, I believe. 
and there was loads of different like varieties because this one is meant to um it doesn't say it on here but i think it says it on the box to like unblock your paws unclog i think it, it says unclog and block and unblock something like that i don't know and there was loads of other colors and there was like red ones for like brighter complexion um there was other ones i can't really remember what they were for but i decided to go with the unclog paw one because recently i've been feeling that my paws have been really really like big is that a thing like you get big paws right usually i do have like blackheads and whatever on my nose and you know i do the like strip things on your nose that you tear off and you look at it and you're like oh my god i'm so fascinated by what has just came out of my nose but i thought maybe if i get a face mask it'll like really like get in there and get all the dirt out because i'm sick and tired of having to do the strip things yeah so i got this and i'm really really loving it i've used it says on the box that you get like 10 applications but i've used this like five times and there's like so much stuff left so what i've been just doing is just getting like a makeup brush like a flat end like foundation brush putting it on and just put it on like my nose like my cheek area like my chin my foreheady bit you know the usual spots and yeah so you leave it on for like half an hour and you like immediately see all of like the all of your pores just like open i think it's just so like fascinating to watch like i'm not overwhelmed by the result at the moment but afterwards my skin just feels so so nice i've definitely noticed that it does 100 percent clears out your pores yeah and i'm not one for clear masks i usually prefer like a sheet mask or a peel off mask because if i'm honest i'm quite lazy and i can't be bothered going to the bathroom and wiping it all off but with this i really haven't been bothered like taking it off in fact i've been like looking forward to taking it off to see what my skin looks like underneath and yeah i feel like i've just talked so much about this so i'm gonna put it down so the next thing that i've been loving is stuff for your hair and it is hair oils um specifically these two this is the aura flu i do that can't be right that sounds like some sort of song or or a flu I do that's gotta be it so it's just this one here it's like a goldy sort of liquid type and the Aussie three miracle oil reconstruction oil which is just this one here and I've been loving these so much like hair oils are just my, like my thing at the moment I naturally have dry hair with it being naturally curly if you didn't know and it is bleached and dyed blue not that you can see in this light but it is like blue at the ends so I feel like my hair just needs that extra like care when it comes to like you know making it soft and shiny oh that reminds me I do have another hair favorite but I haven't got it with me Balzac I'll go get it so I'm back um talking about these hair oils reminded me that I'd forgotten one of the hair care products that I've been loving and didn't bring with me to the setup so yeah hair care oils I have 100% been loving you know after washing my hair I'll like rub some of my palms put it through um even when my hair is dry like when I get put them on and I do my hair I like just put a bits on the ends just to give it that extra like like softness and a drink for your hair because like I said my hair gets super dry and it feels gross and without um I just have frazzled hair and nobody needs that so yes the next hair care product that I've been loving 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 is Olaplex which is just this here Olaplex is I mean I'm sure you've heard about it because it's like this big thing that blew up I have the number three Olaplex hair treatment and what I do is um, before washing my hair so like on the day that I'm gonna wash my hair I'll like wet my hair towel dry it and just pop this on and apply it like everywhere like loads of it because you can never be too generous yeah so I just pop it all over my hair put a plastic bag on my head I know keep the windows closed because anyone walking past will think you're a crazy person leave it on for an hour um let like your hair absorb all that in and then when you wash it off and then do your shampoo and do your conditioner oh my god your hair just feels like it just feels like somebody else's hair like it feels brand new it doesn't even feel like your hair anymore and it just feels amazing i've used this today and i just can't stop touching my hair and this is 32 pounds i think from look fantastic .co.uk but yeah so it comes in a 100 ml bottle this size you get like depending how like long your hair is short your hair is um will depend on how much you can get out of this but i think i have had like five applications out of this and there's still like a quarter of the bottle left that's pretty good and i have like medium 
shortish hair. But yeah, so Olaplex I've been absolutely loving. The next thing on my favourites list is chocolate. Okay, so these little bad boys I've been absolutely obsessed with. These are the McKennedy American Wear Mini Peanut Butter Cups. And these are from Lidl, if you know of Lidl, which I'm hoping you do. If you don't know of Lidl, it is just a supermarket here in the UK. I think it is German. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but yes, I've been absolutely loving these. These are two of the five bags that I've had, and I'm not ashamed to say that. Two of the five, I actually went into Lidl a few weeks ago, and there was like three packets left, and I was like, oh, there's three left, should I get them all? And I was like, no, Caroline, you're not going to be greedy. So I got one packet, and then the next day, me and Martin went into Lidl, and he was like, you might as well just get the last two. No one's taken them. You love them. You can't find them anywhere else. So get them. And that's exactly what I did. Well, he bought me them. Thank you very much. But yeah, they are absolutely amazing. They're like Reese's peanut butter cups, but not as sweet and not like as overpowering. Like, you get like 42 cups in a bag. I can just sit there and eat them all, like in one go. And that's pretty bad. But I think I've done well to have two bags left over after buying three. Yeah, it's taken some serious willpower, but I think that's probably because Easter's just been and I've been like scuffing my face with Easter eggs. So now that Easter is over, I will probably be eating those in a matter of time and they'll probably be gone by the end of the week. So I might need to get myself to the gym. I promise I only have like two things left. Man. Um, so the next thing that I've been loving is a fragrance and it is the Nina Ricci Nina which is just this here and as you can see it's pretty much empty. Oh it's just amazing. Does anyone else have this? Do you understand where I'm coming from? It is heavenly. It is like fruity and floral at the same time and it is sweet and it's everything that I love in a fragrance and I'm just obsessed with this. Like it's one of those perfumes that you don't want to waste. So when I go to work, I don't wear this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna waste this when I go to work. I'm gonna wear this when I'm like, not that I go anywhere special, but like, you know, the weekend or my days off, you know, going to see friends. It's very special to me and it's nearly run out and I need some more. So that is on my to buy list. And the last thing that I've been loving this month, past month, past few months, is a TV show and it is that was a drum roll and that was ridiculous but it is scrubs and if you don't know what scrubs is then what are you doing where have you been but yes yeah, scrubs is a comedy show which has recently came back on comedy central and is on now tv which is where i've been binge watching and it's about a group of doctors in a hospital um, which you might think is like serious and it's not like Grey's Anatomy or anything like that. Um, I mean like it has some serious moments in it and some like film moments where I've been like oh no. But it is like comedy and it is hilarious and I just love sitting, putting an episode on slash 10 episodes on because I can't just watch one episode and just sitting back and just having a laugh like it just makes you forget about all this crap that goes on in like real life and you're just like getting grossed in it and it's just like a feel good sort of show that I wish they still made because you don't find many shows like that now I feel but yeah Scrubs I've been absolutely loving so if you watch it let me know let me know who your favourite character is because mine is I want to say JD and like he's the main character JD and Dr Cox are my faves so let me know your faves if you watch Scrubs and I think that is everything for today's video. I don't think I have anything else. Nope. Sorry good for rambling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you've been loving. Any beauty, skincare, hair, whatever. Let me know. I'm super curious. Leave it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.